Rainy day, rainy day. Hey yoga fam, welcome to another yoga class with Paravita Yoga. Super happy that you decided to join me today. Coming into a comfortable seated position on the mat, taking some time, doing whatever your body is calling for here in this moment. Trying to clear your mind as best you can from all of those outside thoughts. Centering into the space, releasing into the present moment. Feeling yourself beginning to relax into this space. With every breath you take in, drawing in that good energy. With every breath you blow out, feeling anything that is no longer serving you, leaving your mind, body, spirit, clearing your energetic space, clearing your aura, remembering that we already hold everything that we need within. Allow yourself to self-source that good energy. Take this time here to thank yourself, sending that energy of love and gratitude inwards towards yourself. Thanking yourself for taking these next 30 minutes or so for some deep healing, for the greater benefit of your mind, body, spirit. It is a beautiful, wonderful gift. Inhaling love, gratitude, and acceptance in. Exhaling, releasing any self-doubt or judgment. Allowing yourself here to release any unproductive or negative feelings, thoughts, or emotions. Allowing yourself to let that go. Taking a deep breath in, reaching those arms up above your head. And as you exhale, bringing your hands down through the center into prayer at your heart center. Deep breath in, reaching, circling the arms up above your head, palms touching in the center. And as you exhale, bringing those palms down through the center. Deep breath, inhaling, circling the arms up, bringing in that good energy. Exhaling, hands down through the center. Bowing the head, pausing for a moment at the heart center. Slowly walking the hands forward, stretching the arms straight out in front into a child's pose. Feeling those arms relax, feeling the hips opening up. Release, release, release allowing yourself to let go of anything no longer serving you, creating space for all of the good qualities within yourself to flourish. to the hands and knees for a little cat cow pose my personal favorite one of my favorites I'm gonna take a deep breath in rounding the back looking inwards as we exhale pressing the belly down arching the back lifting the chin inhaling slowly rounding up exhaling slowly pressing down Continuing these movements at the pace of your own breath, inhaling to round up, 
and exhaling to press down, arching the back, moving slowly, traveling completely through the motion, using each one of your vertebrae, working the back and the abdominal muscles. On your next exhale, moving into a seated position on the knees, taking our hands together, folding the pinky, the ring finger, and the middle finger in, so your pointer finger and your thumb are left open, stretching the arms up above the head, deep breath in as we exhale, sending our upper body over to the left and pushing our hips over to the right, inhaling, lifting back up into the center and exhaling over to the opposite side, pushing those hips out to the left side, inhaling, lifting up into the center. Taking your time, slowly rising all the way up into a standing position with our feet hip width apart into mountain pose, palms flipped facing forward. Gently close the eyes. Taking some time here to center in, finding your center of gravity. Gently flexing those core muscles, feeling the bottoms of the feet, pressing down into the mat. Bending the knees, stretching the arms straight out in front, sinking into that squat. Inhaling, lifting up, stretching the legs straight. Exhaling, pressing, sinking deeply into that squat. Try and keep that back straight. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, pressing down, tucking the tailbone under. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, pressing down. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, pressing down, engaging the core. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, sinking into that squat. Inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, pressing down, inhaling, lifting up. Now as we exhale, press down to hold, keeping that energy flowing throughout the body. Releasing the upper body over the legs, allowing your upper body to hang, taking some nice deep breaths here, bobbing the head up and down, shaking the head back and forth, loosening up those neck muscles. the legs and stretching them straight out, repeating this motion a few times, inhaling as you lift up, stretching the legs straight, and exhaling as you press down, bending the legs, allowing your breath to guide the movement. Intertwining the fingers behind the back, stretching the arms straight, getting that nice stretch in the shoulders all the way down the arms. Very slowly lifting up from the position. Coming back down onto the mat into a seated position, recentering yourself in this space taking some deep breaths in and out. Bringing our legs 
legs in front of us, knees bent, pressing the bottoms of the feet into the mat, taking our hands on the mat behind our hips, wiggling back and forth a little bit, releasing the head backwards. Firmly pressing the hands and feet into the mat, taking a deep breath in, lifting the hips up, Holding the pose as long as feels comfortable, continuing these nice deep breaths and releasing the position whenever you feel ready. Once out of the position, giving your legs a hug, tucking your chin inwards towards your chest. Take your time here, taking some deep breaths breaths, allowing your body to recuperate. All right, lifting the head and the chest up, taking our hands back onto the mat on either side of our hips, lifting our feet up off of the mat. Taking a few moments here to find your balance. You can alternate back and forth between your feet until you feel totally comfortable with both feet lifted off the mat. Deep breath in, exhaling slowly, stretching the legs straight, lowering the back closer to the mat. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, pressing down, stretching those legs straight, continuing this movement. We're gonna be inhaling as we lift up and exhaling as we press down, trying to move through the position as slow as you can to really work those abdominal muscles, building strength. That's gonna help us with our balance as well. Keeping that airway open, chin lifted off the chest, nice deep breaths, bringing that oxygen into the body. On our next inhale up, dropping the feet back down to the mat. Taking some deep breaths here in this neutral position. Lifting those feet back up. If you need a little extra balance or support, you can keep one hand or one foot resting against the mat. We're gonna be taking a deep breath in in the center as we exhale, twisting the back, dropping the hands over to the right side, inhaling up into the center, exhaling over to the left, continuing this motion at the pace of your own breath. Flexing those core muscles, that's gonna help you keep your balance. On our next inhale, lifting up to hold in the center. Nice deep breaths here. Slowly lowering down to the mat, stretching the legs straight, lowering the back down, and releasing all the way down to the mat. Getting comfortable, allowing yourself to fully relax here, releasing any tension. the right leg in towards the chest, giving the leg a hug. Stretching the leg straight up towards the ceiling, intertwining the fingers behind the thigh, giving your leg a gentle pull in towards your body, pointing and flexing the foot circling the ankle. Bending the right leg in, 
opening up the arms out to either side of your body, creating a T shape with your body. You're gonna be lifting that right hip up off of the mat, crossing the right leg over, trying to keep both shoulders pressing into the mat so you can get the full twist in your spine. The head is going to be looking towards the right hand. That's also gonna help you get the full twist in your spine. Fully releasing into the position. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Slowly lowering the right hip back down, untwisting the back, giving the right leg another hug in towards the chest. Slowly stretching the right leg back down to the mat, bending the left leg in, giving the left leg a hug. The mind is completely free and clear, opening up your heart, creating space for love and healing. Stretching the left leg straight up towards the ceiling, giving it a gentle pull in towards your body, pointing and flexing the foot, circling the ankle. back in, opening up the arms to either side of the body, lifting the left hip up, crossing the left leg over. Remember the head is going to be facing towards that left hand, trying your best to keep both shoulders pressing down into the mat, getting the full benefits of the pose. Untwisting the back, lowering the left hip back down, giving both of our legs a hug in towards the chest. Releasing the arms down to the mat, stretching our legs straight up towards the ceiling, lowering the right leg down to the mat, scissor kicking the legs slowly back and forth, if you would like to increase the intensity, you can lift the shoulders and the arms up off of the mat. Just make sure that you're lifting the chin up, keeping that airway open. You can go as slow or as quick as you'd like. Just listen to your body. Our bodies are the real boss here when we're doing <laughs> physical asana. Just make sure you're breathing deeply. Oh, and having fun. <laughs> All 
right, on your next inhale, lifting both of those legs up towards the ceiling and then bending them in, giving your legs a nice hug in towards your chest. Pressing the bottoms of the feet in the palms of the hands deeply into the mat, keeping those legs bent. As we inhale, we're going to be pressing the hips up off of the mat. And as we exhale, lowering the hips gently down to the mat. Inhaling, pressing those hips up. Exhaling, lowering the hips down. Following the breath. Remember that our breath guides our body in vinyasa, not the other way around. Keeping the movement going, keeping the breath flowing, keeping the body strong. Next inhale, keeping those hips lifted up, actively pressing up, deep breaths in and out. Exhale, slowly lowering the hips down to the mat. Crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, slightly below the knee. Lifting the legs up, giving them a gentle pull in towards the body. Releasing the arms, lowering the legs down, uncrossing the right leg, pressing the bottom of the foot into the mat, taking the left ankle over the right thigh, lifting the legs up, giving them a gentle pull in towards the body.
Releasing the arms, lowering the legs down, uncrossing the left leg. Slowly stretching the legs straight down to the mat, allowing yourself to fully relax into the final Savasana meditation, holding no tension in your body. The mind is clear, free from any outside thoughts. The heart is open, the spirit is free. The muscles of the face are softened, the jaw is unclenched, the hands and the feet are relaxed, legs slightly turning out, the hips are open, the breath is light, gentle, natural, not forcing anything just allowing yourself to be completely you and completely present in this moment. Breathing in, I am calm. Breathing out, I am peace. Whenever you feel ready, slowly rolling on to your side. Slowly rising up into a seated position. Feeling that light within yourself glow like a fire burning bright and hot within your soul. Let this loving energy source ignite your life. You are strong. You are loving. You are powerful. For today's ending mantra, we have Om Nama Shivaya. I honor the divine within. You can either chant along with me out loud or in your head, or you can just listen along. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah 
Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya I honor the divine within. Namaste. The divine light within me honors the divine light within you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. It is always a pleasure. I always have so much fun putting together these classes. Please, if you have any feedback, recommendations, or requests, please let me know. My ears are open. If you like these videos, you can subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you never miss a video. Like, share, spread the joy of yoga, post on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Spread the word, spread the light. Namaste.